I am back. I'm back at Lamborghini Pangborn. What is up, guys? Welcome to Supercars London. Welcome to the bre best, best British summer yet. Behind me is the Lamborghini Pangborn Lamborghini Urus demonstrator. And as you can see in the background, there is a customer and a salesman looking at the interior of the Urus because today I'm being joined by Daryl from EV High. You may remember I borrowed a Tesla Model X from these guys back in December last year. I'm joined by Daryl because he is bringing a Lamborghini Urus to the EV Hire fleet and I'm going to be joining him on his first drive and test drive of the car but not only that he's going to be specking his Lamborghini Urus today. So I thought why not take full advantage of the weather, the fact that we've got the keys to the Lamborghini Urus today and we've got one of Britain's best test drive routes here at Pangborn. So yeah why not let's jump in the Lamborghini Urus straight away get Daryl behind the wheel and let's see how he finds that Lamborghini Urus. <laughs> I'm actually gonna sit oh, back here. Check this out. This is, the, I think, the first official test drive ever to feature on the Supercars London YouTube channel. Normally, it's me and Craig going for a hoon. Who we have here is Daryl on the left, or actually, that's on the right, I think, on the camera. And we've also got Max, <laughs> who is the Lamborghini salesman. Um, or the sort of acting Lamborghini salesman. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> cool. So what happens on the test drive route is you'll drive first. Yeah. And then you switch over. Exactly, yeah. Customer. It's just to explain the controls. Obviously, it's different to the Hurricane, so just to explain the differences between all the modes. Yeah. Um, just so you can get used to its passenger. Yeah, maybe brilliant. see what it can do from my point of view. Uh, and then you can get in it, so you feel comfortable, and then enjoy. Fantastic. All right, let's go for it. Cool. Okay. How many miles has this done so far? It's done 1,200 miles so far. Probably one of the highest mileage Euros yeah, in the country. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, pro ball. that proves that you're doing test drives. It's got to be done. Yeah. Because uh, obviously with Urus, what we're finding is we had an original water bank when the car was obviously released, and then there was a shortage where obviously everyone was sort of waiting for the car to arrive. They want to drive it, see it in person, touch it, feel it, and then we've now we're now getting a second wave of orders. If that makes okay. sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's the sort of first impressions been like? Because right now, whilst I drove it on the Good and Festival Speed Hill Climb, that's like yeah. forty seconds. We've got Daryl, who has never experienced the Urus, yeah. but is bringing one onto the EV High Fleet, which is an exciting Wicked. prospect. But also, like, sort of from people that have. No one ever has experienced a Lamborghini SUV other than the LM002. Yeah, it's completely different. So, um, first impressions, how do you find it, Max? The thing I love about Urus is the fact you can just drive it along, it sounds silly, but like you put your friends in the back of it, and it will keep up with a hurricane all day long, if not lead a convoy of hurricanes. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you've got the versatility of using it as a day-to-day -day car or using it as a supercar. So, it's, so, full, of, it's full of people, really, that Either, you know, if you want to hire one, I'm not being funny, it's a pretty cool car to hire. But then also, you've got the versatility of using it for everything. 4,000 revs. It's fast, isn't it? Very fast. In a 4x4. It's not normal. There's like no lag either, is there? No, no it just goes. That's actually, yeah, I've never didn't even think about it. Mm. And I suppose if you didn't think about it, it's not there. No, exactly. Four litre by, four litre by turbo or twin turbo? Uh, Does it make a difference? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Well, it's a twin turbo. It's twin scroll, I know that. Okay. Twin scroll turbo. It sounds technical. For so those I'll technical people out there, you'll know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Musical chairs. We're now going to get Daryl's first impressions of the Lamborghini Urus. Is that your phone? It sounded like someone's phone. Maybe emails coming through, isn't it? No. People wanting the new Urus. Yeah. New orders. Go back to your free orders, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, oh, oh. 
Is that in? Okay, we're we're starting out it's, in course. We're starting strong. Yeah, that is the. That's definitely the way to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just feel like. Catch you out every time. <laughs> It's the size of this thing, <laughs> and it still surprises. Ah, oh, it sounds good. I'm just looking at people's faces as they're coming the other way and seeing this bright yellow Lamborghini coming towards them. It is turning. 90% of heads. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's what you want. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you're going to drive something like this. Also, if you're going to pay to hire a car, you want people to look at you, don't you? It's part of the experience. Yeah. You want that experience of sort of feeling special on the road, and that is one of the reasons why you hire a supercar and have it for the weekend, whether it's for a wedding or whatever. Like, you want people like that who's just going, yeah. And they drive past. The difficulty I've got is what division to put it in. Do I put it in the in our performance division? Yeah. Or a 4x4 division? <laughs> Can you not just sit in both? Can you not just yeah, list yeah, it? I think we might. I mean, it surely goes in all four of your divisions in Actually, some way. Technically, it does. Yeah. <laughs> the election. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> three, at least. At least three of them, yeah. So you've got performance, 4x4, four four, yeah. electric, luxury. Prestige, yeah. Prestige. Luxury, yeah. But yeah. It, it really takes three of that on the floor. Uh, which yeah. shows how, I mean, it is, we all know that it's a good car. Four litre, 650 brake horsepower, pulls like a train, no turbo lag. But the thing that I think is so cool is it really does appeal to a completely different world because people that are driving around in RS6s, Range Rovers, this is an exciting version of quite a lot of high performance family cars yeah. which when you then look at the supercar hire world in which i've been involved in probably ever since my first supercar when i was trying to find the right first supercar i ended up buying the r8 of course is that most of them are two-seater supercars so now what you've got here is an actual supercar performing family car yeah yeah exactly that so you can blast up the road Right Head over to centre parks. Yeah. All of the bags in the boot. That's it. And then still be a hurricane on the way back on the country lane. <laughs> back at Lamborghini Poundborn, just finishing the Euros. They've got this beautiful satin PPF Verde Mantis, I believe. Performante Spider, which is pretty cool. I'm going to do a quick whip around so you guys get to see what is here. We've got a Rosso Mars Hurricane. Those guys are heading into the Spectrum. I'm going to join them in two minutes because out the back here they've got a fleet of V12 and V10. A couple of Aventador S's, Hurricane Performante, some crazy Bentley Arnage, is that? DBS Volante there. Uh, look at this one. Satin black, but we've got pretty stunning Aventador S Roadster here. And have we got my favorite, look, 6.2 and a 6.5. That is an LP640, 2008. Very, very nice and rare. Even at a Lamborghini service center, LP640s are rare. But we are not here to ogle over Mercia Lagos or these cars. We're coming here because we're gonna be specking a Lamborghini Urus. So obviously just come back from the test drive. Spec up your, your well, I'm work, convinced. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be on the fleet. So yeah, let's let's go through what. Right, you've got this the best yeah. looking Eurus ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best one in the country, let's go for it. Obviously at the moment we've got the yellow. Um talking sort of different colours you can have, you can have the solid black. Um, which is quite a stealthy. That's look. what I was saying in the part yeah. it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Solid white. Which if you go for like a style package of the black wheels, it does look quite like that. Mm. But I always think that Lamborghinis look good. White, black wheels, yellow calipers. Yeah. So interesting that the 22s don't come in like a gloss black finish. I mean, it's something that, it's not, it's not impossible. It's yeah. possible, we can yeah. do it. Yeah, um, but this is obviously the yeah. Once you order the wheels in silver, then we can just get them sprayed high gloss black if yeah. that's what we wanted. We've got some serious decisions to make, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> I like how I'm actually involved in spending, <laughs> in spending so much <laughs> <all> money. <laughs> can you spec a Euros in orange or green? At this stage, no. But it will be 
July next year. So okay. July onwards, cars, you will be able to go to Adverts now and have purple or yeah. you know, any colour you want. But at this stage, there's only things eight or nine colour options you can have. Okay. Um, but that's coming in the future. Goodbye, Lamborghini Pangborn. Oh, how cool is that? Man. There we go. The Lamborghini Urus, that was your first drive in it. I really want to have a go in it now. <laughs> you should. It's, it's, not, it's nothing I've ever had experience with before. Yeah, it's, it's bizarre. The size of it, the sound. Yeah. And then we've just been in there and we've specced up your car to the specification that it's going to be on the EV high fleet. Yep. I've enjoyed today because like I've actually gone through this is the first time like I've actually gone through the process of specking a Lamborghini here yeah. that's actually going to turn up so we've seen it right from the beginning yeah, which you you're going to see very soon whole journey yeah, yeah exactly start to finish awesome yeah Daryl thank you very much it's been an absolute pleasure Cheers, I look forward to seeing you very soon and we're going to be following the journey of the Lamborghini Urus as it turns up to her HRO and Lamborghini Pangborn at some point. We don't know quite yet, yet. Um, but hopefully soon. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, that is it. From Lamborghini Pangborn, we've driven a Urus, and my God, what a thing this is to experience on the road. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. I've kind of lost the words of how this thing performs. So I'm now gonna jump in my R8, which is over there, and head home. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And check the link in the description to check out EV Hire's four divisions that they've got, all of the cars that are available for hire. And make sure you stay tuned for the journey of the Lamborghini Urus coming to the UK and coming to EV Hire. Take care, guys. See you soon.